Hey guys, just doing some stack uh, stock analysis today. Just seeing uh, if I can find some plays for next week. CODC. See what they do. Okay, and healthcare. Healthcare. I don't really like to play healthcare stocks. About twenty eight million outstanding share market cap is three hundred ninety seven million. Could be a potential play. Chart patterns looking good. This is probably one I will probably keep an eye on. Um, you see it, the last two days it had a dip. Just probably keep an eye on it and see how it goes as of right now i do like the way the the weekly chart is forming up um i'll wait a few days before i put in a position for this or even consider it being a good play all right just add it to a watch list for me to for me to keep an eye on EV. It's one of those hard blink check companies. So those specs. Not too sure what it is. Broke its 50 Friday, Thursday. See if it holds its 200. If it can hold its 200 here, it might be a good entry. Good low stock, around less than 15. Property solutions are, maybe this is, uh, a writ, a writs, maybe. You see everything. Last week has made everything red. Everything's dipping. But let's see how far of a correction everything goes. Might be a great pickup. Low stocks. Recently IPO last year, September. Worth keeping an eye on. Especially, you never know when these guys are going to run. If they do run, decent return for them. Low risk at the moment. I right, let it find its bottom. See if the 50 is going to hold for this stock. Dybo. Dybo is a pretty old stock. It's a... We'll consider this is like a dividend play. Sure, they they used to give out dividend. They don't have it any more dividends. Looks like they stopped giving dividends in two thousand eighteen. Let's look at the chart. See what happened. Took a little beating since two thousand two thousand fifteen. Going to 2016, the ticket beating hasn't really recovered yet. This is a dinosaur stock, though. Let's see. Let's go back. Last time it was this low. What has happened? And 
this one definitely definitely took a beating as not seen these levels since before the 90s so and it would have been a good pickup if they were still giving dividends but uh they have suspend dividends uh doesn't seem too good two earnings per share negative three dollars and 47 cents Outstanding share, 77 million. Market cap. Wow. These guys used to do uh like the ATM security. Something has happened to them. Uh see somebody asking if I'm going over indicators. No, I'm just doing some analysis. It's a board Saturday for me, so I'm just doing some analysis. Thought I share. And uh Maybe pick up some, be able to pick up some plays. Stock. I like the formation on the monthly. Could be a good long term. Let's see what they do fundamentally. Uh, manufacturing. So they're also in healthcare. Mm. Electrical stimulation. So probably like tens units and stuff. What I'm guessing. Yep, tens. Earnings per share. Uh, pretty low. Decent. They do have some earnings per share, so um, that's always good. It's a low cap stock too, so. 512 million market cap. It's a trade you have to be very patient with. So I probably will keep an eye on this one. I like the formation of, of it on the monthly. So see it's keeping above its 20 average. You see, or follow for another week or add it to my watch list to, to keep an eye on also. Hymns. I seen this the other day. It looks pretty promising to me. Hymns is uh Hymns in her health inc. Another healthcare stock. Let's see what they this is their website. Allergy, rash, cold, and flu. Healthcare stock. The last three weeks hasn't been kind for this stock. You know, it's just been falling. Let's see where it finds its bottom. If it can find its bottom somewhere on this 13 level, that'd be great to pick up. Probably won't know for the next two, three weeks. So, worth keeping an eye on. <laughs> so, uh, extra ex lord, you said that we are the pharmacy that supplies hymns and hers. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know too much about them too. I just look at chart patterns. So that's all I'm really doing today. It's just looking at potential setups, making a watch list of things to keep an eye on. Things like the party could go up. I I click interactive. Wonder if this is like the eye clickers. They make the eye clickers for like universities. I click. Oh, another. It's a Chinese stock. So I don't know. Their website is completely Chinese stocks. Uh, not really having any earnings per share. No dividend. Cash flow is negative. Not the greatest. One billion mark cap. Let's see, this came out in IPO in two thousand eighteen. Hasn't had the greatest price action. 
like other stocks in a recent three weeks has fell. Definitely, if this one can continue to keep up this uh, structure, it'd be great. I'd like to probably watch it for a little bit while, a while to see how it holds up. which is just too not too much not too much charting that we can go back on so if this can hold it'd be great looks like there was some rejection some rejection off the weekly at that uh at 12 level hence we see this little bounce but let's see what it does likes to do next week if it if it Treats the 20 average as uh, resistance and continues going down lower. Or if it breaks above here, and continues to make new highs. I'm just playing this off the daily, probably set a stop under under 12. That was the recent swing low. So set a stop under 12 would be nice. But uh this kind of concerns me. We kind of we kind of close our uh, last week in between the, the the 20 average. So under the 20 average, but above the 50. And so something like this might happen again, where it sort of stays in between them for a while, dips down even more. So if that, that happens again, we could probably see somewhere in the uh, below 10, between 10 and 9, that range. Maybe it can bounce back up. BT, bit, BT, BT, bit digital. Financial. All these low stocks, few of them, only a few of them have good earnings per share. Most of them, they're still negative. About oh, mid cap. Hey, what's up, guys? If you guys are just joining, I'm just doing some analysis today. There's nothing really I'm going over. Just picking and trying to find some trades for next week. I thought I just thought I'd share. BT, BT. I've been hearing this. Uh, some people talk about this, too. And just like last week, everything fell. So great time to be picking up stuff. We definitely don't want to pick them up when they're really high. So everything that's falling, you know, take that with a grain of salt and start looking for good opportunities. And that's what I'm doing today is just looking for opportunities. Looking for things that I can pick up, maybe pick up cheap. And I'm going to I'm going to keep continue to go from uh, like my, my my list goes from like 15 to like 200. So uh, just price. So I'm going to just keep going up from there. MVIS. Now this one is a interesting one. Now I saw this one way back when it was less than a uh, dollar, and man, it just blew up in within the last year. See, it doesn't have the the best track record. So, well, hopefully, this it breaks this downtrend that it's been doing for multiple years. I think the the reason hype was that was a candidate for uh, Microsoft being uh, being acquired by Microsoft. If that's the case, and or if they, it truly have caught some traction this time, you know, it'd be be very good pickup too. Um, see, it's rejecting off this fifteen level, so. Let's continue to monitor what IV 
MVIS does. This definitely is an interesting stock. Have been poking at it for the last few, the last few days. Oh, not days, but last few weeks. Uh, it wasn't that long ago that it was only below five. It just kept running up. So this could just be a little dip, like here, and it'll probably stand still here for a little while. So within from fifteen to maybe eighteen. Uh, range bound for a while then spike up uh, see somebody requested I look at uh, ICC or oh, CIIC another spec right if I am assuming correctly yep another spec I don't know I don't know exactly what they're merging into uh a lot of the, you can see if you play a lot, if you guys look at a lot of specs like this one and then what was it, the other one that people really like, uh, ICCIV, they do a lot of the same pattern. They go up and then they they uh, stay range bound for a while until they do their final merge. Really explosive because, you know, a lot of rumor, a lot of rumor. Stocks like this, I don't know too much about specs, but if you know, you can get in ahead of time. And if it gets, you know, it could be risky, but, you know, just take a small position and go from there. Last week was brutal. Nothing is, nothing really is green. <laughs> see, where did I leave off? So, S-O. Financial well, and, and industrial, industrial sector, solar panel. Yes, they do solar panel. Earnings per share, really, really sucky. Market cap. Yeah, this, this chart doesn't have. See, it had an explosion like this before, and then it just dies off. So hopefully it doesn't do the same thing here, where you know it, it just has a spike up and then continues to die, becomes an unheard of stock again for maybe another another 10 years. <laughs> uh, hopefully it bounced somewhere. If not, it's probably one of those dead stocks. Uh, John Lee asked about predictions for AMC next week. Well, I'm not I'm not really playing AMC, but I don't know. I don't really know what's going on with it. I like I think it's a lot of hype. You see, historically, it just hasn't been the greatest stock. I probably just avoid it. I think it's a lot of hype. So I will personally wouldn't play AMC. But if you guys got in low enough, then it's great for you. Probably a lot of a lot of gains. LU Holdings. Another Chinese stock. And this year, a lot of Chinese stocks has been climbing. Uh, had a little bit of movement. Or overall flat. Uh, probably not a stock that I'm going to be looking at. Or... Focusing on the future. Solar window technology. Sustainable electricity generation, solar windows and motion power. Earnings per share, not too negative, 17 cents. Not, not, not horrible. You almost expect that some of these startups, you know, that, that they smaller ones that they they don't have the best earnings per share 800 million market cap it's not the most not the the not that horrible it's been flat since they ipo or they so they came out in like 2009 not the worst definitely would like to see this improve. 
Hopefully it's not a repeat of this right here. It pops up and then just dies, never catch the traction of traders or investors. Monthly doesn't look the uh, doesn't look bad, so I already added to my list things to keep an eye on. Potential plays. Oh, this one might be some promise. Has a positive earning per share, $1. Oh, wow. 2019 was when it started going positive. 2020, even more positive. 20, 20, 24 cents more, which is good. You always want to see a earning per share that's growing, even if they haven't caught anyone's attention yet. A low outstanding number of shares too. So this could have explosion. You see the ratings here on buys. Monthly chart looks pretty decent. A little concerning that it's a, it's this high on the weekly, but uh, if it if it continues to get traction. This thing could probably take off even more. Definitely a stock that I'm going to add to my watch list to, to look at. BFT. BFT, this was the stock that... Uh, it's like a spec, but it's growing. Uh, the merger, it's gonna get merged into this uh, this this payment thing called pl uh, PaySafe. I personally have some shares in this already. Well, not shares, but I sold some contracts for this. So hopefully the next 30 days, it plays out good. I have until uh, March 19th. So March 19th will be right around here. So let's see. My, my cost average for this was just uh, 16, 1660 so let's see how this plays out uh like everything it seems like it's holding this 14 15 level but that could change at any time hopefully this continues to just go uh take off payment processor i think uh they're like second to paypal uh EFT and that to my watch list. Let's see. Of course, it's a spec, so there's like no no data here yet. Uh, I think towards like the end, the middle or the end of March is when it's gonna get merged. Cosmos convertible. Cosmos convertible. Wow, earnings per share is looking good. This is, uh, what do they do? Uh, doesn't say what sector they are. It's diversify, uh, they are fun, high income fun. Cosmo, it's their, their website, equity fun. Been around since 19, yeah, and then so they've been, their earnings have been sporadic, but it's always good. Their fund has not been, has not had the greatest record. But they do have these runs that every now and then these little pop-ups. Who knows, maybe this time, maybe this time around, it won't be like this pop-up right here where it just dies off. And even if it dies off, you keep an eye on it. You can catch it down low, below 10. It'd be great. It'd be part of, part of be a few years out. You can see this one. It popped up. It took uh, two years to die down. 
2016 and it's a low the lowest ever been it was like five dollars below five ten dollars could be a good pickup a longer play for more of a investor point of view good cheap stock experience investment this one just ipo last year I'm guessing it's probably a, a, a spec spec stock yep another spec there's a lot of specs this year i don't know if it's just i haven't been paying attention to any of the specs or what sure there's been a lot of specs this year that it just came up seems like everything under the under the twenty dollar level is either going to be a spec or or stuff that just hasn't caught any attention the tech it sector mobile image capture Mobile deposits. So they're IT and financial, fintech, incorporated. Okay. Earnings per share, 22. Okay. Not bad. Two thousand eighteen, two thousand nineteen hasn't really been kind for, but it's good to see that in two thousand eighteen it was negative, then it got less negative, then it became positive again. Hopefully this trend keeps continuing. All right, help it out. See the ratings from the street and all of them. It's at a hold. I don't put too much weight on this uh, this rating right here, but it's it's fun to look at to know what uh, people are doing, what people think, uh, the analysts thinking of it. Mid cap company. Well, the trend's been pretty good with it since. Uh, 2010 and if it if it's heading down here a good catch a good catch will be around ten dollars Oh wow, what is this one? Seems seems pretty when I see something like this where we see uh it clearly hits a ceiling around sixteen, it hit a ceiling at sixteen. My guess is if within the next few weeks to months it's probably gonna come back down. Let's see which one we'll respect. Maybe it'll come back down to the six dollar level. Voyager Digital. Only this will load faster. But definitely keep an eye on this one. Let's slow down right here. It's probably looking like it's building up to just a fall. See before it did respect the 50. Let's see if it respect the 50 again. I think is if it went up this much already last year, it went from nearly less than a dollar from nine cents all the way up to 15. So not too hopeful, but keep an eye on it to see how it does. If it caught traction, just like a NIO called traction, people are really, a lot of investors keeping an eye on it, then we could probably see it survive. If not, everybody just dumps it, then we'll probably see it die and then never return, never heard of again. It's always a good thing to keep an eye on things like this, you know, never count something out catch on sometimes you just have to take a risk 
all script. Okay, all script, healthcare, we do healthcare, healthcare center, uh, healthcare sector, they do software, all sorts of, all their ratings all across the board. Reduce, two star, hold, long. <laughs> I don't know, they don't even know what they really want. Earnings per share, negative 30 cents. They were positive in 2018. Uh, decent number of outstanding shares. But uh, it's been a flat stock for the longest time. Looks like it's been range bound between six dollars and uh six and fifteen. You notice something like this, you could probably pick it up. You know, right now it's at its high, it's at the high point of its uh range. Something you could probably short down. AQN utilities. Utility sector. It's not loading, so they probably don't have too much information on it. But uh, wow, AQN. I like the, I like this chart, this monthly chart. It means year over year growth. It's been growing steadily, not not explosive, but steadily. It's coming back down. I have this monthly candle right here. It's coming back down. Be a good pickup. You can see. There's rare times that it goes back to the 20. So like around $12 to pick up. So it just follows these trends. It could be a while before this one really makes money. But you never know. Good consistent. Probably we get something for a good uh, long term. Around this. Uh, try to get it around 14. 14 will be good. Uh, 12 will be great. See, just based off uh, chart pattern and what has happened. Great pickup zones. Keep that on my watch list. Yeah, definitely not not unheard of to find good stocks below below twenty, but you just have to search. Climate change crisis. Sounds like something El Gore would be into. It's in the spec. Corporate. Okay. I'll guess last year. These ones will never really have anything on the fundamental tab. Speculative plays. For you guys who like taking a lot of risks, it would be a good play for you. <laughs> CLII is the, is the symbol. UBS. Oh. Looks like they don't, they're financial. They don't even have any data. Pattern's not the greatest. It's been down downtrend for a long, long time. Looks like it's been range bound though. We're mid range, midway in between a range, multi year range uh, between ten and ten and twenty. You can play that, see if it goes to 20 this time. If it doesn't break the range, you can probably short it down. Get some puts, some long-term puts. This is not something that you will, you see every one of these cycles take like a, a year. Yeah, so it might not even be worth shorting it because you, you whenever you short your, you're paying interest on those uh, loan, uh, those uh, shares you, get loan I mean this year these candles well I don't like it just these candles are just so tiny meaning there's not much movement per day 
They're all sporadic, a lot of gaps. Wish there was more information on this, but all the ratings are hold. Could be a range bound play. And back to my way range bound list. RSI, Rush Street Interactive. My guess is FinTech, Customer Discretionary. Some gambling, something gambling, online gaming casino website. PlaySugarHouse.com. It's in New Jersey. Michigan Ave in uh, Chicago, Illinois. So nothing to show for earnings. No data here at all. Market cap. 204 million total outstanding shares. This recently new. Uh, I like this weekly. Definitely looks like it, it respected the 50. See if it could do the same thing again. Be a good play, bounce play. Wait a wait a week or two to see if it holds. If it can hold, it could do something like this again. Worth getting in. Add that to my watch list. CCJ. Another one that's not loading. All across the board again. They don't know. They don't know what they want to do with this one. Uh, monthly isn't the greatest. I'm guessing it's probably going to just be range bound. So from fifteen to fifteen to like five dollars. Just keep bouncing back and forth for a while. SLM, Sally May, Sally May, I believe they are financial. I think they loan out money to people. I remember seeing some of these paperwork come in. Delaware, earnings per share is good. You know, two, the track record, their track record has been increasing. Very good since 2016. That is not the greatest, but it looks like it's recovering, which is good. The height was around 20. So it's it's almost getting back to its highest. Now, something like this. You know, it really likes to have a run up, then it dips. So run up and then dips, run up, dip, run up. This is in the run up cycle. Uh, how sharp it is, I probably, I probably would think that uh, a fall will come again. So pick up around like 10 if you're a long-term person. See, they, have, like, they like to have nice long trends from eight. To current. If you get stopped out here, 13. Something I'll keep an eye on. Worth putting on my watch list. SLM. Graphic packaging. One of these guys are like uh, for t-shirts. Oh, no, actually they do their material for food packing. Paper products for food packing. General mills or is paper bra mills? In Atlanta, Georgia, positive earning per share. Very good. Earning per share has been sort of range bound since 2016, up and down, not, not much down by much, but not also not up hugely. So they, they're 
consistent at best. See that they on this monthly chart, you can see you can clearly see that there's been a range between 12 and 16. Hopefully, this is a range, a range break. Multi-year range break usually would, for me at least, would mean that it will go, it will explode up higher, even higher. You see, it had a run up. The low was 57 cents, and it just kept running up all the way to 15. And then spent almost the same amount of time going up in a range. So if this range could break, we could break above this uh, 15 level and keep it for a while. We could probably see another run up. Maybe another run up to hopefully to 30. So that would make, that will double the price of this one. But that will probably take a, a, a couple of years. So we plan it out probably 2014 is when the party hit 30. That's if everything goes great for it. And we see something like this happen again. You see, it did. It fell, range bound for a number of years. Then it kept climbing, range bound for about close to 10 years. Let's see, back in 2015 to, so not, not 10 years, more like six years. Range bound for six years to see if this six year range will break. If it can break, this thing could run. It's a great, great play, breakout play. You just have to be patient with this stuff like this. You know, you see the last range took uh, the better portion of six, uh, five years to fully play out. If you play that, that this is going to break out, play another five years. Five years, double your money. Definitely keep an eye on this one. Interesting one. Positive link per share. So that's always good. Hercules Capital. Range bound. Range bound stock. No real movement. Just up and down, up and down. Non diversified close end investment company financial earning per share they have two wow 2020 but 2020 was a odd year explosive year but 2019 it was good 2018 had positive earnings per share so this is a stock that has a positive earning per share not huge but positive which is good Maybe keep an eye on it so that it can see if it can break above 15 and stay. It's already over 15, but we need to make sure that it can stay above 15. Keep going. HPGC. LT Autoimmune. Wow, this, what a crazy stock. Gapped up huge and then died. Uh, I think it was a reverse split, maybe. It's 2000, yep, reverse split, 2013, so. Yep, not going to even look at this one. Not really worth the time. Alpha Tech holding. Uh, another downtrending stock. Anything? Maybe this one will go up to 25. Maybe it'll peak up a little bit over 25, like this right here. Go 35 before it decides to see if it wants to hold 35 or die down. Not too much hope for this. I'm not going to add this to my watch list. Not really worth watching. Something that's been going down trying like this. Probably waste a lot of wasted time just looking at it. Probably have to 
play it out. So maybe 2021, it will peak up above 35. And if it can't hold above 35, then 2022, probably come back down, get back to its low. So not really worth it. This one, Cloud, Cloudera. Another Cloud, the IT. Do so anything Cloud is always interesting. They don't, of course, they don't really make any money. They get killed by those. Uh, they get they get killed by micro uh, Microsoft or Amazon. Right now, Microsoft and Amazon are like the big two cloud. It's very hard for any uh, any no name or stock like this, especially if they're cloud based, to to really make it. If they do, they just end up getting acquired. You see, not the best, not the best movement, but it's a little hype right here. Some last year and this year, so it's been a strange year. Basically, anything that's junk is good. It's just been climbing. Workhorse. The crowd favorite. The last three weeks hasn't been kind to it. But looking at this weekly chart, it puts it really close to the 200 average. So back to $10. The closer to $10 it is, the better it is. Workhorse. EV. Workhorse is EV. Electric vehicles and aircrafts. Definitely a lot of hype around EV stocks. Workhorse, no difference. This could be a this could be a opportunity to get you guys to get in a lot cheaper. You can, if anything, maybe a couple a couple hundred shares at ten dollars. Maybe throw a thousand dollars in it. Forget about it. Come back in like ten years. Maybe you become a millionaire. Add that to my watch list. Viva Solution. It's steadily coming up since 2009. Hasn't had the greatest, hasn't had the greatest chart, so at its peak. I wonder what happened here. Then the stock that had like a huge mental run, then it just dies, dies off and slowly coming back. It's still hanging in there. So let's give it the benefit of the doubt. Let's look at, let's look at earnings per share and everything to see if this is worth keeping an eye on. San Jose, California is where it's located. Okay. So. 13, you see it's cre increasing, which is good. What I don't like is uh, that uh, in 2017, they had a, a seven, uh, 71 cents earning per share, and then it went down 21. Just to, just to me, just doesn't smell, doesn't smell like anything that's, uh, anything that's uh, uh, stable, especially since it's already really low. Just this hype up was maybe something happened that year, the one time deal. Market cap, mid cap company. I'm really liking the way the, the weekly looks, which is what I don't like is just how, how crappy the monthly is. But if we just go back for like five years, you know, that, that were even since just since uh, 2017, they've been holding still. So I can give it the benefit of the doubt. It's really high right now, but if it can come back, it likes to always come back. So if it can come back, 
to twelve dollar range. You wouldn't want to tie too much money up into this because you know you see year over year you're not getting that much. Maybe uh from eleven to from twelve dollars to uh, the peak of so seventeen. So not much there. Care leave. Sounds like a medical. Yep, medical healthcare sector. What I don't like about these healthcare stock is you get you you see these events that happen. They go up for a while and then they just they just die. You see it here. They go up for a while and then they just die out. So what I would rather do is probably just rather wait for it to come back down to like five or ten. Oh, not ten, but uh, eight, eight or five. Even lower would be better. Healthcare stocks are always explosive. They're, they're always just waiting for FDA approval. Any of those rumors. <sighs> Customer discretionary. Hopefully it loads. See, this pattern keeps happening. Pops up, dies over the course of two years. Pops up, dies over the course of three years. If we can say that this, if this pop up, this recent pop up, if it can go all the way um, above 22, might be able to play this pattern again it's a multi-month play much multi-months pattern let's see the slow nope all right let's not wait for it let's go to the next one a toc natural natra and company brazil Franchise stores, okay. Customer staple. Earnings per share is not that great for this year, but expect it. Anything that's like in the that the retail shopping, any franchises, they they haven't done well in two thousand twenty, so it's the norm. I don't like the way the chart is. Oh, let's just skip this one. I don't like the way the chart is. I'm not gonna even add it to my watch list. Stable road acquisition. Another spec, maybe. Yep, another spec. This one we'll probably have to do a little bit of research to see what it is. S R A C. If it's anything good that we would want to jump in My opportunity right here, the weekly, it's getting close to that weekly 50, 14. The last three weeks has been red. If we can catch this, maybe give it another, another week, see if it can hold or if it continues to die, if it continues to die, Maybe below or close to 10. IBN. It's a bank. Financial. Where's this located? Mumbai. India. It's an Indian bank. Earning per share, 60.
I like I like the pattern on the monthly. But it's gonna be a slow play if we play off the monthly. But if something repeats itself so many times, we can bank on that pattern. So this plays out, we can maybe expect it to continue to fall. Continue to fall. Maybe around eight dollars is a pickup. This goes eight, nine dollars. Then write it up to 15 or past 15 again. Just keep playing that over and over. Slow, slow place, but if it's consistent, consistency is good. I B I B N. Not I B M. I B N. Tucson. I wonder if this is the same Tucson as like clothing. Oh, a toucan, I mean, not Tucson. <laughs> My eyes are not that good today. Uh, it's not loading, so not good. Gapped up, fill the gap. Not the greatest sign. Usually we want to see a gap up and then gap up forever. But if this, if this, if it happens like this again, First gap up here, gap up, and it died down, and then continue up, die down, gap up. You can see maybe this will return. Worth keeping an eye on. Add that to my watch list. I think that could be a potential play. Fishing for, just fishing for some positions, some potential positions. Arbor Realty. Now, I've been keeping an eye on these guys. They have, uh, I believe they have some uh, risk, so they, they always have to pay a dividend. So it could be a, it's a good dividend play. 7% seven, 7 that they're paying in dividend, 7.32% dividend. They have a positive earning per share. That's good. These guys are rich, so, you know, Realty, Realty trust, so they you know they own properties. Arbor. Let's open up their website to see what their website looks like. Do 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 do. Let's quick look around their website. So real estate, what's, what do they do? One of these guys, they do uh, apartments or like shopping centers. Uh, I'm not too sure. Do probably like mortgage loans. Yeah, 2000, 2008, 2009 hurt them. That was the real estate crisis. But they've been, they've been consistently coming back up. So that's good. And this is 2020. 2020 hurt everything. So. And it's coming back up. 7% dividend. That's really good. Very, very good. Add this to my watch list. But I would like to see for this one, if it could come back to this 50 again, it'd be an even better pickup. See if this correction that's coming up will make this correct too, make it fall back to 13, 12. I would definitely love to pick it up. All right, last one for today. This is IEA, IEA, industrial. They do renewable energy. Right now, anything renewable energy has been popping. Definitely tell on this chart that I struggle for a little bit. Then they popped up. So let's continue to monitor it. See what it likes to do. Looks like it found 
Not not yet known if it's found support, but it definitely did bounce off to 15. If it can if it can hold there for a few days, maybe it's worth taking a risk, putting a set of stop around 13, maybe around 12. Watch this thing go. But thank you guys for joining me today. Today we're just looking for some looking for some stocks, creating a new watch list. Uh, just thought I'd share, just thought I come on live so I can show you guys how I look at stuff. And you never really know when a play would be a good play or not. It's always just taking a risk and then going with it. But thank you everybody.